Hi, how's it going? Uh, my name is Nikolai and I'd like to tell you about a project of mine I've been working on in the last year. Um, it has something to do with keyboard layouts and I think it might greatly improve your life. Um, so let me quickly run it by you. So it's a bit of a long story. I think most of you know that QWERTY is really old layout. It was designed for old mechanical typewriters and it's not super efficient when it comes to typing on a computer keyboard. You also might know that there are quite a few alternatives to it. Uh, Dwork, one of the most famous ones, there is also Colmac, Workman, quite a few others. People were tinkering with the idea for quite a while. And at some point I got into this area and I started to figure how I can make a really, really good layout. But I didn't want to just design a layout by myself. Plenty of smarter than me people did that before. What I wanted to do is to use artificial intelligence to design it. There is a branch of artificial intelligence that called evolutionary algorithms. They basically emulate your normal evolutionary processes. It tries to run many, many, many solutions to the same problem over and over again and randomly mutate it until it finds the most efficient option. And aside of artificial intelligence, I also wanted to measure how our hands actually behave, how they move around uh, over the real life keyboard. So as you can see on this picture, I actually took an old web camera and mounted it with a makeshift harness on top of my keyboard. And then I started to record the movements of my hands as I was typing on a keyboard. I used some WebRTC magic in there to track the movement of those yellow stickers in my hands. Out of this experiment, I produced several accurate datasets which with very high degree of statistical probability create this real-life hand movements model, which we can rely on. It's not something that was made up, it's not a thought experiment, it's actual measurements taken and processed and then aggregated into this model. Well, after that I merged those two. I took the real-life data and fed it into my artificial intelligence. And basically what happened is that over a course of a year I managed to develop this new layout with the assistance of artificial intelligence. I call it Hallmark as a join of Hall 2000 and Dwork. One of the classical ways to compare keyboard layouts that was used previously is to compare how much distance our fingers go when you type this or that phrase. As you can see, Hallmark is on par with one of the best in the world in this area, Workman and Colmac. Hallmark is actually slightly better, but not by a large margin. But if you compare it to QWERTY, Hallmark actually requires 78% less finger movements than QWERTY. But that's not all. Uh, there is a better way to measure efficiency of keyboard layout. That's the model I used, which basically measures how much effort does it take to type a certain phrase. And in this area, Hallmark is actually really, really, really efficient. It was one of the primary parameters for the artificial intelligence when it was looking for optimal keyboard layouts. It is actually so good that Hallmark is really, really close to maximally possible efficiency. The maximal possible efficiency might be not really useful for a real life scenario because, well, it won't be pleasant to type on, but Hallmark got really close to that maximum. Overall, Hallmark requires almost two and a half times less effort to type than QWERTY. It's a huge improvement over the existing standard. But let's take a closer look. There are more to it than just numbers. Pardon my graphical skills, but if you look close, you can notice that in Hallmark, all the letters, they actually neatly stacked into two groups, two square blocks that basically allocate all letters underneath your fingers. What does it mean is that your hands don't really need to move that much left or right to type text. In most cases, your hands actually just move to type shifts and punctuation. That's pretty much it. 
More of that, the most used symbols are located in the home row or under your middle fingers, which are strongest fingers on your hands. You can look at it further. Keyboard layouts are created like grids. They have linear rows, but your hands, they are not that perfect. Your fingers have different lengths, they have different strengths, and uh, they located on kind of like this arc on your palm. What does it mean is that, say, your middle fingers, they actually are closer to top row, and your pinkies are they closer to the bottom row. And this layout actually accommodates for that. It places rarely used letters like Z and Q and J and K outside of the hot zones so that your fingers would be focused on the most used letters. So your strength would be used most efficiently. Let's look at it a bit deeper though. If you take a close look, you can notice that all vowels are located on one side of a keyboard and all the consonants on the other. What does it mean is that when you type in English, you have a very good degree of hands alteration, which helps a lot in terms of efficiency because it confuses your hands way less. This layout is also optimized for the most used trigrams in English. For example, ION, which you can find in many words like nation, optimization, or sha, like shall, show, should, show, shop, you. See, all letters are aligned on a line. And what does it mean is that you can use them as a rapid combo. Although they might be located on the same hand, it doesn't produce that much confusion. It's actually really, really easy and pleasant to type. And the story goes further. The, though, the, all those uh, frequently used trigrams are really, really easy to type on this keyboard. They don't confuse your hands that much. And finally, let's look at how your hands actually utilized in different layouts. QWERTY is the worst of all uh, in this regard. It's actually really left hand heavy. Dwork and Colmac actually the same, just opposite. And Workman and Hallmark, they are ideally balanced. They have 50-50 hands utilization. But we can look even deeper. If you look at the individual fingers utilization, it's actually a pretty interesting story. As you can see on QWERTY, you're actually using just three fingers to type most of the stuff. Same with Colmac. But if you look at the Hallmark, it's actually really close to ideal balance. It spreads evenly the load between fingers based on their strength which helps a lot in terms of feeling the balance and equilibrium in your hands when you type text with it. And the chair on top of the cake is... Hallmark is actually pretty interesting. Uh, it's not just a layout, it has uh, two layers, basically. One layer is where you type text, the one that I just demonstrated. But when you press a command or a control buttons, it flips back to QWERTY layout. And what that means is that you can use your normal controls as Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V combinations, and they will just work. Your muscle memory, it doesn't think about those combinations in terms of letters. It just locations that you memorized on keyboard. It's actually a pretty big deal. Most of the alternative keyboard layouts, they just move letters around. And when you learn it, you're not just learning how to type text, you also have to relearn all the command combinations, which can be a lot of pain. Hallmark takes this pain away. It provides you with best from both worlds. Very efficient layout to type text and very familiar query layout for command combinations. And that is a really powerful combo. Well, that's all the presentation. Here is a bunch of links where you can find uh, the layout, some modules for training. I also open sourced all the code for the artificial intelligence module and all the code for the real life measurements. There is also a section on my blog which is dedicated to research. I've been posting articles in there all past year. So it has some degree of history of uh, how this thing was developed. And that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. And yeah, give it a go. Let me know how did it feel. And that's pretty much it. 
Happy seasonal greetings, everyone.